this is Batman, and I'm going to take you through the process of how I, the Dark Knight Blood Cell, help keep Gotham out of harm's way. I was first born from the bone marrow, a network of connective tissues. I was raised there, along with my siblings. I also made some friends. One was a cool white blood cell, and the other, a platelet with a spiky mohawk. A white blood cell's job is to help the body from diseases. And a platelet are small colorless cells that bunch together when blood is involved in clotting. Every day, we would play pranks on people. And once, we put a whoopee cushion under a teacher's chair. A very bad idea. Suddenly, I was pushed away from my siblings and into the bloodstream. There were some weirdos, some boss man, gossip girls, a troll face cell, and a yan cell, ironically enough. Before I knew it, I was in the right atrium, preparing for my duty. My job is to collect supplies and nutrients that are vital and bring them back, and also take out the waste. In order to protect Gotham, I take orders from the brain, the main control center of the body. To continue, I must pat the tricuspid valve, a barrier that separates the right atrium and the right ventricle. Here I am in the right ventricle. The right ventricle is the lower chamber on the right side. Sometimes pacemakers are found along here. Pacemakers help keep your heart in a steady beat. I need to get through to the pulmonary artery by passing through the pulmonary valve. An artery is where blood flows through, and the word pulmonary... I am now currently sliding through the pulmonary artery to the capillaries. Capillaries are branching blood vessels that form a network between the arteries and the veins and are kept in the lungs, the main character in the respiratory system. I am going to drop off the carbon dioxide and make a transfer in your alveoli. It then returns and it is sent to your bronchi through your nose to breathe out. The oxygen is sent here when you breathe to your alveoli and it is picked up by me. Now I'm an oxygenated blood cell. Back from the capillaries, I'm now heading to the left atrium, but I have to pass the mitral valve first. It isn't as spacious because the right side is more muscular. I am now in the left atrium. I rush to the right ventricle and taking the aortic route, I slide up to another set of capillaries in your body to release the oxygen to re-energize you. I follow the same steps by diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of something from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Diffusion is a result of the kinetic properties of particles of matter. They are mixed and are distributed evenly. A one-way slip straight to the right atrium I take. It is also known as the superior vena cava. There is another called the inferior vena cava down below, but it depends on the direction you are going. Almost back at the right atrium. Phew, I'm getting tired. Once I'm back at the right atrium, I repeat the process over and over again. My life, however, only lasts for about four months before I'm replaced by other people. Oh, I haven't talked about glucose yet. One of the main and vital supplies that cells need. Glucose is a simple sugar that is an important energy source for cells. Uh, it's the nutrients for them, the vitamins. And I pick them up at the local glucose box all the time to give it to my pals. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please grade fairly.